Hey, everybody. So here's what's happening. I have some time off this same week as Laconia Bike Week in New Hampshire. Had some things I had to do earlier in the week, but I'm able to leave New Jersey today, which is Thursday, and stay in Laconia Thursday night and Friday night and head back to New Jersey on Saturday. I called a few hotels near Laconia yesterday, and they wanted $300 a night. So yeah, they're spiking the prices. Uh, I then called 10 campgrounds near Laconia and left the same message that I was looking for a primitive campsite for two motorcycles and two tents. I received back two calls. The first was 30 minutes from Laconia, and she said they had a grass field and would charge $15 per head per night. The second call was eight minutes from Laconia and were charging $25 per head per night. So I chose the latter, packed up the bike Thursday morning, waited for it to stop raining in New Jersey, and off I went. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to leave northwest New Jersey and meet up with my friend Gary near Socrates, New York. And from there, make the five-hour run up through Albany, New York, into Vermont, and finally into New Hampshire. We are not doing interstates, so it's going to tack on some time, but it should be a beautiful ride. So when you have events like this that are very popular, the hotels are going to spike their prices and the campgrounds will be looking to book for the week. But if you are a self-contained motorcycle camper and outfitted to primitive camp, you have other options and that skill set will save you a lot of money.
at Vermont anytime soon. 13 miles of ripped up road on both sides, our bikes covered in mud. When we would finally roll into Laconia, there would be little doubt of the 300 plus miles we had ridden. You can't be picky when it comes to a primitive camp spot. It will be all the way in the far corner of the campground. It won't have electric or water or even a fire pit. I knew that and so I actually brought something I've been wanting to try, a portable fire pit. This is the portable fire pit. I'll put a link below. It worked great. We did not even buy seasoned wood from the campground. We just picked up brush from around the camp. We lit three or four fires before we crashed. They burned really nice. It seemed to suck oxygen through the mesh for a nice fire each time. In the morning, the owner of the campground let us know that he had a cancellation and upgraded us to this camping site, which had water, electric, and a fire pit, all still at 25 ahead. Before I left, I noticed my little propane tank I usually use to make coffee was empty. So I grabbed my alcohol stove. The great thing about an alcohol stove is you can find isopropyl alcohol at any pharmacy. You can also run it off of heat, which can be found at any auto parts store.
it's hard to tell if an alcohol stove is actually lit. The best thing to do is just run your hand across it and you'll feel the heat. Once the flame blossoms out of the jets, then you're ready to go.
I made the mistake of commenting on how beautiful the weather was. So, of course. Baconia, 2022. Then I made the mistake of saying, well, it's not that bad. So, of course. In about an hour, the weather broke and we were able to get back out and see this beautiful state. The sun sets slowly over Laconia. I bid you a fine farewell, and I'll see you in the next one.